This is going to be exciting. Smashville is going to be the game one. And E2C's Tyroy versus 8FP H Man. And he has been riding this new Samus a long way. You know, Hugs made it to this tournament, but he ain't playing Smash 4. This is completely different. Samus, in theory, should be a pretty good combo weight here for Tyroy. But in practice, we'll see. He does have that escape, and that is going to make comboing kind of tricky here because he can just uppy out if he's in danger. He actually just elects the DI perfectly. Up, up air, up air. Man, ooh, this is, you can't really get Bayonetta though, no matter how many of those charge shots you land off the side. I am back here, and it looks like pretty even. Oh. All right, and here comes Are the big combo. combo. Catches him with the up air at the top, and peace out. Peace out, H-Man. Tyroid taking first stock. Gonna bat with him right out of that forward air. Take a little damage every time you bat within, but it's better than the alternative, which is taking a full hit. Optil coming out. Uh-oh. We got another scary situation. Oh, is he dead? No, He no. gets out of it once again, taking a pretty 54%, though. Yeah, which is pretty damaging. Oh, and again. So scary here for H-Man. Very, very scary. How do you take this stock as Samus? You have to get pretty meaty reads here with these uh, charge shots. And that's what he's looking for. He's retreating. You can tell. Oh, he wants to. Okay. If he had gone, if he had air dodged like into the stage or something, that would have caught her. Let's see though. Is here comes. Oh, is that banana? Oh. Uh, you know, oh, he might have just been able to up air there, but this is Samus. Samus is a pretty hefty character. And his potential, whoa. I'm surprised there was no smash attack there. Smash attack probably wouldn't have, Oh, maybe on the ledge, who knows? I think I think Tyra's a little oh. infatuated with the with the witch twist. Following him all the way down. Ooh, let's jump. No, both got the two. This should be oh, stock this here. Will probably yep. Be it. yep. That's gonna be stock. Ooh, man, that is definitely a difficult one to understand. And that's gonna be Tyroy's game one. We have a whole crew here coaching. Guys, we don't are, are we gonna are we gonna are we gonna be jerks about coaching or no? I wonder if we're gonna be jerks about coaching, because it's like it, like the whole Ohio crew is in the H Man's corner right now. Hang on, I'm gonna I'm gonna put this out. Guys. What? One band. Also also take it easy on the coaching, would you? All right. We got Dave coming back. She's got her bag. I'm actually going to make Zach get me water. I have a little bit of room to walk here. I'll be right back. Now, Dave, uh, I'm going to ask you something. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, before I step off to give Zach my water bottle, how is Samus going to be able to finish off these stocks? Ooh. That is a difficult question here. One thing I do know about H-Man is he is not quite familiar with this matchup, we have maybe one Bayonetta in Ohio, and unfortunately it's quite far from H-Man, so. Oh, Tyra gonna make it back to the stage there. Playing pretty dangerously around that Smashville platform. Oh, this is big damage. H-Man making it back to the stage, and yeah, you, you can see the unfamiliarity. He's throwing out stuff like that grab. Oh, but, mm, yeah, I totally agree though. He's not really familiar with this. Um, I could say that maybe Tyroy might not be familiar with Samus, but he's not having a problem here. We do have a Samus Ooh. in Rickles. Oh, yeah, there's Rickles. Here. I don't know Samus how often Tyroy of Rickles have played. And and Rickles is, I, I don't think Rickles is the kind of person who would play a friendly versus a Bayonetta. Ooh, let's see. That is oh, enough? Wow. Oh, wow, I, I, I think that was actually <laughs> maybe a case of poor AGI from H-Man. It has to be, because that did not look like that should have killed. No, that was a kind of unfortunate situation and there. And one thing about Bayonetta is, too, is like with her combo attacks, you have to DI specific ways. And if you're unfamiliar with that, then you can definitely take the damage. Oh, big charge shot coming in. And now this missile pressure coming out from H-Man. He's trying to pressure from a very far range away, staying away from D Bayonetta's optimal punish distances. 
See here. Oh, very smart. Up That's here. enough oh. to kill. Wow. No, no. And Ohio getting loud here. They, they want are. their man to keep going in this top eight. <laughs> I think h -Man might be the only Ohio left here, so... Yes, he is. Uh, the bottom side of top eight is going to be Viev versus Mewtwo King. Oh, uh, he misses the cross. Tyra, he is trying to back up. Okay, and there's going to be another big up B there. I can't remember the Screw attack. Why couldn't I remember that? I'm the worst Nintendo fanboy ever, <laughs> I swear. I've actually never played a Metroid game. It's kind of embarrassing a little bit. Metroid Prime is actually one of my favorite games of all time. You should totally check it out. I, I do, I do. Oh, very nice of me. He's definitely doing a lot better here. Maybe yeah, he's, he's spacing very well. He exactly actually finally has out. a percent lead for the first time in this set. And he's figured oh, out four what? tilt. What kill? Wow. I didn't even know four tilt was that strong now. Oh, is this... Oh, we're all grabbing the ledge. Oh, don't do that! Gonna toss him. Oh, very safe recovery here from Tyra. Oh, he misses the forward air. Oh, that nice was big shield, shield damage. Yeah. H-Man playing smart. He is keeping his distance here. And oh, oh that's big. Again, you see, he's so infatuated with the, uh, oh, which time. Going for back air back there. Air, that that's kill? enough that to KO. Does. That does. Tyra clutches ah. out. Second game of the set. He is up 2-0. 2-0 here. Definitely a very close match, though, that time. Uh, the first one was pretty much in Tyra's favorite there. But the second time, it looks like uh, H-Man is kind of understanding this matchup a bit better. Mm -hmm. Hang on a sec. Go away. No coaching. Stop it. <laughs> Okay, so okay. game three, back to Smashville. Smashville again. This this, this is kind <laughs> of the mid this is the meta everywhere. I'm not. I, I'm. A, I'd be a liar if I said it was the mid it's, meta of the Midwest. It's definitely it's the meta the everywhere. Thing. I agree. <laughs> I, I'm a fan favorite of uh, Smashville actually. So. Oh, big combo coming in here from H Man. Getting a couple of those up airs. That damage adds up actually pretty quick here from Samus. Well, oh, let's see. Oh, going pretty low he was there. Look, he was looking to get a gimp with that neutral air. And Bayonetta, she's like, she's like New Sheik in a lot of ways, but she's like New Sheik in that she just has a recovery that goes forever and a half. Especially if you know how to use it. I think Sheik's recovery is a little easier to use. Like, look at how deep he can go for these zero deaths. I, I agree. I think that's one thing that's like really neat about Bayonetta is her, <laughs> how far she can go. Mm -hmm. She's, I mean, if you've played her games, the Bayonetta games, <laughs> Again, totally worth checking out. Those games are so fun. I need to. I need fun. to. I've, I've played quite a bit of games by Metroid and Bayonetta were two that I haven't gotten a chance to play. I recommend Ooh, them, so although maybe H-Man's not a big fan after that zero to death. Well, probably not. Probably that death not. combo, to be correct. They're not a zero to death. Oh, and Tyra putting on tons of pressure on this taxi platform. H-Man having a really hard time here. Figuring out this neutral. Oh. Here comes another it? launcher. No, this is not it, though. I'm not going to get that combo. Bayonetta versus Capcom 3 happening over here. <laughs> oh, he's going to miss oh, it. Oh, that was a kill. cute no combo. He, and there's the stock. Okay, this is big for H, and he this gets that is. quick stock right back. And now anything can happen. He has to win three games in a row here against probably Chicago's best player. Uh, over a hero. Yes, Akiro. Um, that's a long story that is, will be told another day. Okay, but right okay. now, <laughs> Tyra playing fantastic. Oh, he gets the stage spike with the neutral air. Covers so three. many options. Oh, oh, Ohio looking very disappointed, but giving a round of applause for h men being the highest placing Ohio player. Yes, making top eight with a J-tier character. 